if you've ever looked at the spec sheet of a processor, it doesn't really matter if it's a, a CPU or a GPU, you've probably seen a spec called lithography, which is a number measured in nanometers or, or micrometers if it's a very old product. And in this video, we're going to take a look at what that number means. So before we get into taking a look at what the lithography spec actually means, we need to have some background knowledge. So let's start off by taking a look at what a CPU actually is. A CPU or a GPU is a microprocessor and a microprocessor is an integrated circuit. An integrated circuit is basically an, ele an electronic circuit uh, that is really tiny and is on a silicon chip. Now inside a microprocessor you'll find mostly transistors. The transistor is the most important kind of component inside a microprocessor and inside a modern processor you'll, you can find billions of these microscopic transistors. In fact they're so microscopic that you can't even see them with a normal optical microscope. You need an electron microscope to be able to see them. That's how small they are. So why do they need to be so small? Well, you want more transistors, right? You want as many transistors as possible because more transistors generally means a more powerful processor. So if we can make the transistors as tiny as possible, we can pack more of them onto a single chip. Therefore, we can make that processor more powerful. That's the first reason they need to be tiny. But it's not just about physical space, it's also about power consumption. As you can imagine, a smaller transistor means that the electrons that flow through it have to travel less far, which means it has less electrical resistance. In other words, a smaller transistor also consumes less energy. So what you can also do is take an existing CPU design um, leave the design exactly the same and also the amount of transistors which gives you identical performance but you make the individual transistors smaller which means you get the same performance because the same amount of transistors but you're using less power so it's also a way to increase the power efficiency of course you could also um, maintain the same power usage and increase the number of transistors so then you have more performance with the same amount of power. But you get the idea. The reason we need to make transistors as small as possible is for space reasons. We need to pack more of them into a single CPU and also power consumption. Smaller transistors means a more efficient CPU. So now what does this number mean? this lithography number, right? Now let's take a look at what it means. Some people think that the lithography number is the size of a transistor on the CPU. So uh, if you have a 22 nanometer CPU, it says 22 nanometer in spec sheet, every transistor on that processor is 22 nanometer in size, which raises the question, is it 22 nanometers wide or 22 nanometers tall? Is it 22 square nanometers? What is it? Right, which dimension? Um, and of course, this is wrong. 22 nanometers in a 22 nanometer CPU does not refer to the size of a transistor. Neither does it refer to the space between the transistors, as some people say. That's not what it is. 22 nanometers in a spec sheet of a CPU is a much more vague thing, unfortunately. I hate that. I wish lithography just meant the size of the transistors. That would make everything so incredibly easy. But that's not how it works. So then how does it work? Well, 22 nanometer is more like an indication of the precision of the manufacturing process of a CPU. So when you see 22 nanometer in a CPU spec sheet, saying lithography 22 nanometers, it means that the machine that made that CPU has a precision that is in the 22 nanometer scale. So this number doesn't tell you how big a transistor is or how much space there is between the transistors, not at all actually. It tells you it's an indication of how precise the manufacturing process is of that particular CPU. 
So it's not really a, a spec of the CPU itself. It's actually a spec of the machine that made the CPU. Okay, so then why would we care about this? Right? If it doesn't tell you how big the transistors are, if it's just a, a spec of the manufacturing process, then why would we want to know this number? Well, that's because even though the lithography number isn't the same thing as the transistor size, it is very, very related. For example, let's say we have a 32 nanometer CPU and a 14 nanometer CPU. Now, as we've just discussed, those numbers do not refer to the size of the individual transistors. So in both of these CPUs, we don't know how big the, C, uh, the transistors are. We do know that the 14 nanometer CPU was produced uh, with much more precision. A more precise manufacturing process is able to create, yes, that's right, smaller transistors. So this means that we can assume that the 14 nanometer CPU has way smaller transistors than the 32 nanometer CPU, even though we don't know the exact numbers, but we can still assume this because it's been produced in a more precise way. That's the easiest way to understand it. The lithography is a number that doesn't tell you exactly what the size of a transistor is, although in some cases it can be close. It is a number that is very closely related to the transistor size on a CPU because, again, a more precise lithography, a more precise manufacturing process causes the transistors to be smaller. So what does it mean to the consumer buying a CPU? Not that much, luckily. It's not really a useful number to see what the CPU performs like, but it is a useful number to see if it's a, an up-to-date or a recent CPU. If I see a CPU that, ha that says lithography 32 nanometers on the spec sheet, I know that, that CPU was made a couple of years ago. If I see a CPU that says 40 nanometer on the spec sheet, I know that that CPU could have been made a week ago. That is what most people use this number for, just to check if it's a recent model, if it's a recent up-to-date CPU design. So it's not the most useful number on the spec sheet, but it's definitely a very interesting number. And I hope you've enjoyed this video, and of course, thank you for watching.